Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're in Wilmington, Delaware, on the grounds of one of the DuPont estates, to have a look at a couple DuPont cars. Richard Regal is the owner of these cars, who is himself a DuPont descendant, but Paul Presanti is the wrench for these babies and basically their curator. I met Paul a few years ago at the Radnor Hunt Concours when he was showing this beautiful 31 Model H, and I thought, you know, it'd be great to get a couple DuPonts together and take a serious look at them. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. That was going to be fun. You ready? I feel good. I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Paul, how you doing, man? Good. How are you? Good to see you again, man. It was, uh, man, it was Radnor Hunt Concours, I don't know, years ago that I first met you, yeah. and uh, you were kind of the, the wrench on some of these fairly exotic Dupont cars, and so I finally hunted you back down. And mm. I know we do some Duponts today. What do you say? Oh, uh, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's sort of the story. I mean, you, these are owned by Richard Regal. Richard actually. Regal. Uh, who goes by Jerry. Yes. It's kind of odd. But <laughs> but DuPont in general is a, I mean, that's a pretty rare car. Yes. Uh, they made them from when to when? 1919 to 1931. Okay. They made like 560. So not many cars. Total. Nah, there's only like 30 known to exist. Really? And two of them are sitting here. Two of them are sitting here. You gotta love that, man. Mm. So this is a 29, right? 29. 20, 29 Speedster. Speedster, Model G. Model G. Wild looking car. Um, you know, you tend to think of speedsters and stuff as you know low and, and sleek and, and this is very sleek but she sits up awful high yeah it's a high one and and the fenders are way up here even your running boards are so high on this car totally wild how about the headlights though i mean they're called woods lights is that what they're, they, <laughs> they're they look, actually they look like, aircraft lights they look like aliens is what they look like <laughs> the, any aircraft lights why are they called that well, they just shine a really fine pencil beam, and evidently you can't see you them from see the air. Above. Okay. So you can drive around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> that, that sounds like marketing to me. <laughs> well, what's the deal on, I mean, this looks like an anti-aircraft cannon or something. What is that? A uh, customer who purchased one of the vehicles from um, DuPont commissioned them to make a cannon. He wanted a cannon, you know, radiator cap, and he ended up making two of them, and somehow we got a hold of that one. Wow. Is the other one like MIA? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no clue. No clue. <laughs> well, you know, and the other thing that's kind of wild about this is I'm assuming these are the, the shock absorbers or the equivalent yes. of the shocks, which is kind of a, it's a, a fabric strap. Yeah, and it's almost like fire hose. Uh huh. Material. Fire hose type material, and then that's yes. uh, kind of a I'm, I'm kind of a spring ratchet it, or something. Yeah, it's like that, a friction in there. Oh, man. But she's got a long, long nose. The reddish maroon and black would have been a, a, a Dupont color for this car. Yes. In fact, this is how she came originally. Yeah, I came originally. Now this also this is this is an older restoration, right? This yeah, this is probably 30, 35 years. So it's showing some you know some little yeah. bit of, you know of its age, but she's still just absolutely gorgeous. And and inside, I mean, it's this one big car for two people. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and it's got you know kind of a I don't know kind of a raw dash. Yeah, it's not you know just kind of plain, nothing fancy. And they look like Stuart Warner gauges, but they actually they're. They're inscribed DuPont. Yeah, they're, I'm pretty sure they're made by Stuart Warner with just a DuPont emblem in there. And you yeah. get in from this side, there's no door on the driver's side, right? No door on the driver's so side. Just, there's only one door in this guy. Only one door. The shifter's up there. What's the knob on the floor? Uh, it's actually an exposed cutout. Oh, no Supposedly kidding. it gives you more power going up hills. So it gives you a lot more noise. Um, <laughs> a lot more noise. With it. <laughs> but uh, not quite a boat tail, you know, and, and it wouldn't have mattered if it was boat tail or not because we've got the spare yeah. back here. But uh, beautiful styling. So what power to DuPont? Uh, it's got an eight-cylinder Continental engine in it, like 322 cubic inches. Um, this one has around 40 horsepower. It's got a couple dual carburetors on it that the other ones didn't have, and a little bit bigger cam in it. So it's, this is the hot rod. This is the hot rod. Let's go look at that. Go ahead and open it up, Paul. Well, that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, I mean it's. It's pretty shrouded, actually. <laughs> That's a, I love the, the the cover there. And is that all machined in, or? What? Yeah, they designed it just for their, you know, for this engine, for their, you know, with the Dupont animal emblem on it. So, but but that just with these neural nuts, that just comes just, off. Just comes right and off. Under there, and it's, it's just, just a, a, a flathead straight, <laughs> straight eight. <laughs> Looks a lot nicer with that under. Yeah, I gotta tell you. For sure. Dual carbs. Dual carbs. With They're, no air cleaners, right? Nah, no. Assuming they never put them on it. Wow. But it also looks like you got. 
some cracks in your manifold. Yeah, it's showing some age. The manifold's just got a couple cracks in it, and we're trying to get that taken care of. Now, I mean, That's can it. you still find something like that? or I mean, can mm, you still get these? Or? Probably going to have to have one made. Really? Yeah. If anybody out there has one of these, just <laughs> send it to Paul here. <laughs> uh, but you, at least you've got this, so you can have yeah. it made from now, oh, so yeah. you don't have to recreate yeah. it. So how's this baby run? She runs pretty good? It runs good. You know, it's, it's a nice day. we got a nice country road right here. Private road on the estate. You can't beat that. Yeah. Uh, what do you say we close it up and take it out? Let's do it. Can, 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 I, can I drive it? I guess so. All right, yes. <laughs> close that baby up. <laughs> can I start in second? Nah, it's pretty, that's pretty high. The other car you, you can. You're sitting up pretty high in this car, and that's a heck of a high hood, too. It's hard to see over that can and hood on it, man. <laughs> That Speedster is a beast, man. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's both beauty and beast all wrapped into one. She said, you know, it's, that was a handful. Yeah, it's a tough one to drive. <laughs> it's an armhole. It, it's a, yeah, I feel like I've had my workout for today. But, but now, you know, let's, let's jump up, what, two years in time. That was 29, this is a 31 uh, DuPont. And this is what they call, what, a Model? Model H. Model H. In, in Model H Phaeton. And this is a completely different car. For one thing, it's it's much bigger. Um, but man, it's just, the design on this is just gorgeous. This was a really special car too, right? Yes, this one was built especially for a 31 New York Auto Show. Um, this is the last car they built. Oh, this DuPont. is the last one to last, roll off the DuPont line? Last, yes, and that actually it was built in the Indian Motorcycle Factory. Because, oh yeah, that's right, DuPont actually started, or was involved in the beginning of Indian, right? Yes, he owned, owned the company. Wow. And this was built in the motorcycle it was factory. Built in the motorcycle factory. <laughs> well, she's a, she's a beautiful car. I mean, it's a monster. And uh, you know, one of the things you see immediately is uh, you know your your hood ornament. Yeah, it's a lot leak. And those things now are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some of them are pretty valuable. Yeah, and and of course, and they're reproducing some of them. But that I'm yes, sure is a is the real original. deal. Yeah, that's a real deal. And the honeycomb. Uh, 
you know, radiator shield there. Massive lights, but probably don't really put out too much light. Not right? too much at all. <laughs> you really don't want to be driving it at night. <laughs> yeah, it's a little <laughs> candle power there. But it's, you know, it's such a gorgeous car and, and the, I mean, I, I think the lines of this car are beautiful, the metal work, but then to take the paint job and just accentuate that, this cream and black, I mean, it's a, it's a spectacular looking car. I just love how the paint follows every line of the car. It's almost like they built it. To be painted that. like that, yeah. I mean, it's just elegant. I'm sure it, it looks good with the top down too, but with the top up, the thing just looks, like I mean, it, it just looks fast. sleek. Yeah, it, looks, yeah, it, <laughs> it looks fast sitting still. And dual cowl, you know, you got your windshield back here and, and you, you, what, you lift that up and you climb in there and you have your own windshield. And a much more elegant dash than the Speedster had. Yeah, yeah it's more polished and mm -hmm. a lot more chrome in there on the floors. And yeah, but the pedals and, and, the, and that uh, floor plate all uh, chrome and black. This one even has a tack. Yes. So now the, the Speedster had this weird reverse four speed no, H pattern. The, the backwards four speed. Yeah. yeah, this one's normal. It's oh, just, like just like a regular four speed. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's just, she's just absolutely stunning. And this was the trunk, right? I mean, literally yes, a trunk, literally, right? Yeah. You Comes just off. Put and your stuff in there. And... and that's the weather cover for it? Mm-hmm. Now the, the Speedster had a uh, Continental straight eight. Is that same engine? Yes, same engine in this. Let's go look at it, Matt. Oh yeah, same engine, but a little bit prettier. Yeah, a little bit newer restoration. Yeah. <laughs> and that cover there really is just a, a, a cover for the spark plugs and everything. Basically, right? that yeah, just comes basically off covers and the distributor and the spark plugs. Then it looks like an engine, but yeah. right now it looks very elegant. Yeah. <laughs> so it's all, this is all nickel here. Right? Yeah, that's a water jacket cover. It's all uh -huh. nickel plated and all the stuff around the water pump and generators, all nickel. And what's this down here? The, That's actually the power brake booster. This one's got power brakes? Yes, this one has power oh, brakes. Speedster could have used Stops that. a little better. <laughs> Speedster could have used power steering too, man, I'll tell you. <laughs> Is that a pretty reliable engine? Pretty Yeah. Pretty yeah. tough, rugged? Yeah, really strong. Nice and smooth. Oh, yeah, I like that. Uh, you know, I didn't break the Speedster. Uh, can we take this one out? You suppose I could drive this one? Sure. Too? Oh, man. All right, let's do it. Close it up. So just a heel toe start, uh, yep. foot foot start, no trick, right? Nope. Here we go. Hey, I like that. And a normal shift pattern finally. Yep. Normal shift. <laughs> I feel at home. <laughs> <laughs> but right off the bat, yeah, Paul, yeah. this is much smoother. <laughs> that speedster's a beast. Everything's a locomotive, man. <laughs> You're going to be a fourth gear just oh, before you know oh. it. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm grinding every gear, which I was. <laughs> Here we go, out on the open road. <laughs> Pay attention! It's just nice looking out at that Lalit. Was that on this car originally or is it something no, they fitted later? Yeah, that's something that Mr. Regal put on. DuPont's just kind of had a flat brat eater cap. Um, nothing really fancy. Oh, and this, it steers so much better too. I'm, yeah. I'm surprised you'd expect the Speedster to be the one that was, you know, more nimble, but this car is beautiful. Now this went to Pebble and, and won, right? 
It came first in his class and won the most elegant open touring car award. Wow. This is, this is right in style. Yeah, this is really smooth. Oh. So until our next meeting, remember, honor the timeless classics. I'm Dennis Gage. Happy motoring. <laughs>